Jakarta Integrated Tunnel A twin or double barrel tunneling system Presented by PT Antareja Mulia Jaya and supported by the Ministry of Public Works and Housing in cooperation with the Provincial Government of DKI Jakarta. Jakarta is the capital city of the Republic of Indonesia with the population of around 10.2 million people in 2011. But for Jakarta Metropolitan Area or Jabotabek, it has around 28 million people which is the biggest in Southeast Asia or the second biggest population in the world. Jakarta has only 7,660 kilometers length of roads with a covering road areas of around 4,000 hectares. The ratio of roads in Jakarta only around 6% from the city area. Total amount of motor vehicles in Jakarta is around 9.6 million in August 2014. These motor vehicles are always increasing rapidly year by year and cause severe traffic congestion in almost entire of city areas. The classical problems of Jakarta city are traffic congestion and flooding. The basic concept of flooding management in Jakarta was given by Professor Herman van Brin in 1816 when Jakarta was called Batavia under the Dutch colony. In this concept, Batavia city was entrenched by a flooding channel. In principle, this concept is to limit or restrict water rainfall coming to the city from the upstream area by building a half circular flooding channel Whereas since the volume of rainfall in the city has becoming less, then it can be managed by building several drainage channels inside the city. The Dutch has been built half portion of the flooding channel to cover surface water flow from the southwest bound area of the city. This channel is well known as Canal Banjir Barat or West Flooding Channel. Just a few years ago, Provincial Government of DKI Jakarta has completed this flooding channel. By building the other half portion of the channel in east direction, there is east flooding channel. However, now the new problem is arise. The old Batavia has already changing and becoming a bigger city called Jakarta. The flooding channel is not bounding around the city anymore, but now located in the middle of the city. Therefore, a new model of flooding mitigation is urgently needed at the southbound of this flooding channel. The best answers to all of those problems is the Jakarta Integrated Tunnel or GIT. GIT is a solution to traffic congestion and flooding problems. And at the same time, it can give a solution to the lack of electricity and standard clean water supplies of the city as well. Actually, it is becoming an obligation to all of government in the world to build and to finance a flood controlling system facility. Because of, it will not even a single private company will come to step in into such a zero return project. In order to overcome this constraint in Jakarta integrated tunnel concept, the flood controlling system is integrated into a toll road system. So, GIT system relatively will not to burden the government budget, especially in operational and maintenance of the project. Jakarta Integrated Tunnel System is a twin tunnel or double barrel system of 12 meters inner diameter each. There are three lanes of toll roads in each tunnel. In the GIT system, the function of flood controlling and toll road is totally separated. There is no need to build a water gate inside the tunnel to separate and alternate these two functions, wet and dry condition such as needed in the single tunnel system. Therefore, it is no risk of the water will be flooded to the toll road at all. Since there is no land acquisition needed or only limited at both ends of the tunnel, Therefore, tunnel construction can be done in very fast and safe way using tunnel boring machine or TBM. While the machine is moving ahead, it is followed by installing precast concrete segments to form a tunnel linings or tunnel walls. 
The route of Jakarta Integrated Tunnel is chosen under an existing road or under an existing railroad. By doing this, it can assure to avoid long and deep pile foundation of buildings and to get a good compact subgrade formation. During construction stage of TBM, there is no or only limited disturbance to the existing activities on the surveys. Method of works in the Jakarta Integrated Tunnel for Flood Controlling System is based on interconnected vessel principle. In this principle, an open vessel or water tank when it is connected to another vessel or water tank by means of a closed tube, then the water surface level in each vessel will have the same height from a definitive point, or in other words, it is said horizontally even. So, if water is being poured into one vessel of an interconnected vessel, then the water will flow through the tube into another vessel until the height of the water level in both vessels become horizontally even. Water flows inside the tunnel is ruled by a gravitational law, and therefore, it is no need to use a pump, except for the purpose to re-empty the vessels. Maintenance of wet area of lower channel can be done one by one alternately among each tube of the twin tunnels. When one tube is being emptied, then the other tube is still keeping on function in channeling water. With the continuous functioning of water channeling, the GIT system can also be utilized to build a micro-hydroelectrical power system and as a water channel to cater for standard clean water supply to the city. At the first stage, Jakarta Integrated Tunnel will be built GIT-1, Balai Kambang Manggarai Corridor with a total length of 12 km. This tunnel is to mitigate flooding caused by overflow of Chiliwung River and to reduce traffic congestion at southbound to city center corridor through Pasar Minggu Casablanca toll road section of 9.60 km length. This tunnel is stretched under the ground just right below the existing road, which starts from Pasar Minggu at Pasar Minggu Street and goes to Pancoran Junction, Dr. Supomo, and Dr. Saharjo streets at Tebet area, up to the end in Manggarai at West Flooding Channel. In order to shorten the construction period, method of boring can be done in two opposite directions simultaneously. Starting from the middle of the route at Pancoran Junctions, two pair sets of boring machine can do these jobs by boring two directions of Manggarai and two directions of Balai Kambang at the same time. Schematic Jakarta Integrated Tunnel System for Corridor of Balai Kambang, Manggarai After completion of construction GIT-1 Balai Kambang, Manggarai, the problem of flooding caused by overflow of Chiliwung rivers such as at the areas of Balai Kambang, Kampung Pulau, Kampung Melayu, Kalibata, Bukit Duri, Otista, Dewi Sartika, and Jatinegara will be overcome. Instead of GIT-1 Balai Kambang Manggarai, with the same method at this first stage will also be built GIT-2 Ulu Jami Tanah Abang Corridor of the total length 12 km. This tunnel is to mitigate flooding caused by overflow of Pesanggrahan River and to reduce traffic congestion at southwest to city center corridor through Ulu Jami Tanah Abang toll road section of 8.30 km length. The sixth toll road section in Jakarta City. At the first stage, there are two of the six sections of toll roads in Jakarta City will become two main GIT sections. Firstly, is toll road section number 6, Pasar Minggu Casablanca SGIT-1. And secondly, is toll road section number 4, Ulu Jami Tanah Abang SGIT-2. In the next stage, it is strongly recommend that all of these toll roads will become GIT tunnels in order to complete the basic concept of flooding management in Jakarta, which was has been introduced by Professor Heman Van Brin so that all of other local flooding spots can also be overcome by these huge GIT drainage channels. The Jakarta Integrated Tunnel or GIT 
is a giant leaps and gateway towards a better and a new Jakarta. But of course, it is not only applicable to Jakarta. It is also will become a solution to all of metropolitan cities all over the world. So, GIT is just in time. <laughs>